Welcome to this, the Football Foundation's second online annual review, Annual Review Plus. Last year, our first Annual Review Plus won prestigious industry recognition by picking up a Corporate Communications Digi Award. And this was particularly satisfying as the Football Foundation produces this entirely in-house with no additional costs. We therefore decided to once again to bring the projects featured in the print version of our Annual Review to life on screen for you here. 2012 has been a watershed year for the grassroots game and the Football Foundation was at the very heart of it. The FA's radical youth development plans such as smaller sided games and goals for the junior game and age appropriate coaching will increase enjoyment and herald a new era in producing homegrown talent. We at the Foundation are helping imp implement that agenda by investing £1.5 million to help reconfigure the pitches and install junior goalposts. So an eight-year-old no longer has to try and defend the same size goal as England keeper Joe Hart. Our work in rebuilding the local football facilities will support those plans further. As the floodlight artificial pitches we install mean that football activity doesn't simply stop when it becomes dark at 4pm for half of the year. Or because the pitch has become an unplayable quagmire during our inevitably bad British weather. 2012 also saw the start of a new chapter in the Foundation's 12-year partnership with the Premier League, with the launch of the Premier League Community Facilities Fund. This is an exciting new programme that sees £18 million invested over three years into building better local multi-sport sites for local people. These sites are linked to professional football clubs, from Premier League level right down to the Conference North and South, and also venues on which clubs' community outreach can take place. You can watch a short film of Sir Alex Ferguson and Premier League Chief Executive Richard Schoonamore unveiling the fund's first site at Stretford High School. The highly successful London Olympics made us as a nation very proud. We at the Foundation are equally proud to have played a central role in the legacy of those games. The 1,700 grassroots sports facilities we have invested in since 2000 are helping the Department for Culture and Media and Sport and Sport England by enabling more people to play football and a wide range of other sports. This year we continue to deliver the facility element of the Mayor of London's Olympic Legacy Programme on behalf of Boris Johnson and his Commissioner for Sport, Kate Hoey. This has ensured that every single London borough has benefited from new or refurbished sports facilities, with 34 different sports benefiting so far. This online review features an exclusive film on the Mayor of London Facilities Fund and includes interviews out on the Thames with the London Nautical School. The Barclays Spaces for Sport programme that we deliver on behalf of Barclays won a sixth award in 2012 at this year's inaugural Football Business Awards. Barclays Spaces for Sport has developed over 200 multi-sport sites across the UK and you can watch a short feature on the massive difference that the Portsmouth site is making to the Fratton community. I'd like to finish off by recording my thanks to our key funding partners, the Premier League, the Football Association, the Government and Sport England. Without their crucial help since 2000, none of the work that we have achieved at the grassroots level of the game would have been possible. Equally, our partnerships with Barclays and the Mayor of London mean that even more people in towns and cities across the country, and from a variety of backgrounds and abilities, can enjoy playing a wide range of sports, purely for the love of it. I really hope you enjoy this online version of our annual review. Please do feel free to tweet links to it or email it to your friends and colleagues.